Greetings, dear friends! I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Honda Accord. In our market, the 8th generation of the model is represented only by front-wheel drive cars. There are no four-wheel drive, but this is not a reason for sadness. The car is low and off-road exploits are contraindicated for it. Owners of cars with 2-liter engines can choose the type of box, a 5-speed automatic transmission or mechanics, but with 2.4-liter engine, buyers of new cars in Russia didn't have a choice. At this point, either drive with a gun or put in a manual transmission yourself. While well, Ortex slightly used from Europe, there was such a modification. There is only one manual transmission here, a 6-speed AST5 series. They were reliable and sturdy boxes, however, after 200,000 mileage, combat drivers will almost certainly need minor repairs. At the very last, you will have to update your synchronizers. If you missed the oil level or didn't change it at all, and also regularly draw at speeds near maximum, then you can hear the howling of bearings. But so far, this is a rare occurrence. Both the manual transmissions here are really reliable and strong. The main thing is not to forget to change the oil and try to replace the clutch disc on time. A flywheel, even a regular one piece one, costs under 50 euros. With automatic transmissions, everything is also relatively simple. Depending on the year of manufacturer and the engine, there can be more than six types of them, but they all look like twins. Indeed, in fact, it is one and the same five-speed shaft box, slow but very strong. Unfortunately, in this generation, its thoughtfulness goes beyond all boundaries. With a 2.4-liter engine, the difference in dynamics with automatic transmission and manual transmission is almost 2 seconds to 100, and in real operation it will still please with periodic light slowdowns and inappropriate shifts. But with a normal travel mode, without races, and with regular maintenance, the box will pleasantly surprise you with its resource. Even the first versions of this box easily overcame the milestone of 350,000 km, and the more successful ones went through 500,000 before repair. Newer ones perhaps will delight calm drivers even more. Unfortunately, the Accord is not the car that people bought in Russia to drive slowly, and in winter the roads are slippery and snowy. And given that the box still has some generic shortcomings, you can still ditch it if you wish. Firstly, the first car overrunning clutch doesn't tolerate abrupt starts to the floor and attempts to get out of the snow drift to swing. Breakdowns are infrequent but regular. The drum of the third gear is overloaded and doesn't lack racers, violations of thermal conditions, prolonged climbs and trailers. To make life easier for the box on the 8th generation, the automatic transmission cooling system was even improved, complementing the traditional heat exchanger in the radiator with an even small turbular one. And the rest of the work of the box has become noticeably better due to many small improvements. For example, there were less problems with slipping and vibration in third gear, less often it breaks the overrunning clutch, the machine can more easily tolerate missed oil change intervals. Typical age weaknesses are the same as in the 7th generation. In addition to the accelerated aging of the third gear clutches, after 150,000 mileage, shaft bearings fall into the risk zone. Of course, rolling bearings are mainly used in this box, but they also don't like dirty oil and overheating. First of all, the bearing in the cover 21240RCL-010 becomes the culprit for the trolley bus sound. But if the situation is started, there will be more damage, and it will be necessary to replace the shafts or even the box body. In the most extreme cases, the differential suffers. When significant amounts of metal dust appear in the, appear in the oil, it cannot withstand, and the shaft of the satellites goes out for a walk. Sometimes there are linear solenoids and shifter failures, but more often the control system is simply clogged with debris due to the relatively low oil pressure and flow. As a result, the transmission is more sensitive to dirt than conventional 5-speed automatic transmissions. So do not forget to install an external filter 253030PLR003 or even a larger one and change the oil every 50-60 thousand mileage. Russian cars are equipped mainly with two engines, and if the K24A, K24Z3 motors are well known from the previous generation, then the R20A3 series motors haven't been installed anywhere before. This series is the result of an increase in the displacement of the younger series of engines from the Honda Civic. And the long stroke engine with SOHC cylinder head has a character that is very different from the combat motors of the key series. A common problem with all motors is weak catalyst. In conditions of cold start and plug operation, after 150,000 run, they intensely crumble, and dust causes accelerated wear of the piston group. So check the condition of the catalyst, replace them in time or at least remove them. The cooling system also has its drawbacks. 
The relatively dense arrangement of the radiators complicates the cleaning of the package and the radiator doesn't tolerate high pressure washing well. Glued honeycomb crumble and crumple. Vibrations are more common in 2-liter R-series engines, but 2.4-liter K-series engines also suffer from a low resource of engine mounts, especially on versions with manual transmissions. High demands on spark plugs and modules, air purification and intake tightness are typical for Honda engines, as well as early failure of lambda sensors. Here not only the peculiarity of the wiring is affected, but also the tuning of the engines themselves. All motors up to 100-150,000 run start to eat oil. Please note that the use of the low viscosity oils on older cars is very harmful to the camshafts. Gaskets and oil seals on older cars often leak, and the rear crankshaft oil seal is made too weak and gives up before the front cover oil seals. Legendary reliability requires control and more control. The amount of travel increases dramatically after a run of 150 to 100,000 due to the manifest manifestation of all weak points at once, aging of the gaskets and emerging problems in the control system, contamination of the throttle valve, leakage of the intake and the accumulation of a mass of minor problems in general. The 2.4-liter engines of the K24A, K24Z3 series have it changed somewhat in comparison with their predecessors, but there is nothing fundamentally new in them. Is that their fighting character is somewhat strong in connection with the new environmental standards. The resource of these engines is still limited mainly by the oil appetite, but on new engines the problem with wear of the crankshaft liners due to a drop in oil pressure is more often manifested. The problem is so widespread that recommendations are regularly made to replace the earbuds preventively after 150,000 mileage. There are also difficulties with the operation of piston cooling nozzles. What is the reason is not entirely clear. Maybe best oil changes or design changes, but most likely the SAE20 oil used on the new machines turned out to be too thin for the engine. Even with the new engine, it was not worth pouring something less than SAE30, and older engines need oil with a viscosity of at least SAE40 or even higher. All appetite still grows by 150 to 100,000 mileage, but here it is more pronounced than in older versions of the engine and is largely associated with coking of the piston group, which indirectly indicates an unsuccessful choice of oil and service intervals. Leaks through plastic plugs in the cylinder head are less common in this engine, but the VTEC valve gaskets also flow regularly. Sometimes there are cases of timing belt wear well before the typical 200,000, so the condition of the tensioner should be checked periodically. Summing up, we can say that this is still the same very strong but demanding maintenance and expensive engine with a number of nuances. By the way, contract motors are in great demand and not very cheap. Reliable 2-liter motors of the R20 series are made a little simpler. There is only one camshaft, the valves are regulated almost like on classic Jiguli with a screw. The valve cover is plastic. The R20Z1 motors, 150 horsepower, have an I VTEC system, but a tricky one for one shaft. In terms of sophistication of the design, they even surpassed the K series, but they practically got rid of the shortcomings of the predecessors of the K and F series in the form of leaks, coking of the internal channels, and the piston group. It is difficult to find any special weak points. Sometimes you can hear complaints about the tendency to vibrations and increased intake pollution from the crankcase ventilation system, but even then the intake manifold flaps almost do not wedge. The most serious complaint about the 150 horsepower R20 A1 before styling, there is no such problem on the 156 56 horsepower R20 A3, is the very high sensitivity to oil quality and the drain interval. After 2011, the piston group was finalized and the oil appetite began to manifest itself much less frequently. Well, if you take a pre-styling car, then chances are good that you will have to do decarbonization and poor expensive oil, for example the same Venom WRX. Despite the lower power, cars with this engine can be safely recommended for purchase, especially for those who chose the Accord not as the Canon race, but as a normal mid-size family car pleasant to drive. On this information about the problems of the Honda Accord is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.